Let's do an example of time series. So this comes from the notes, um, the class notes, if you want to follow along. Assume we have a company and we have this information from our weekly sales. These are our weeks over a period of 10 weeks and our sales numbers. And the challenge, the question is how do we forecast our sales? Um, so we'll go through a couple of different ways of doing it and then ways of calculating the error. Firstly, we'll talk about, it's called Naive. Naive says that the forecast of value, so the value tomorrow, is the same as the value today. So if I ask you what's the temperature going to be tomorrow, um, and you say the temperature today, that would be considered the Naive um, forecast. So for this, what we just do is say the forecast for week two is equal to the value of week one. So each of these goes back. So the forecast here is equal to the value here. And now we can calculate an error rate. The error rate just says what is the actual minus predicted. Okay, so that was off by five. So these are all of our errors for each week. You notice that some of these are negative and some are positive. So if we take the average of this, right, the average error is pretty small uh, because they even out. Um, but what if we don't want to deal with negative? So we can take this and we'll take the absolute error. So we'll do equals abs for absolute, um, this, line, the actual minus predicted, okay, so it's the same values but without the negatives. And now if we do the, um, the average of these, uh, we get a much higher error. So in general, we're actually off. The predictions are off by about eight. Okay, that's more accurate than this because this is um, you, the negatives are artificially deflating this number. So in general, we're plus or minus eight. 